The dating world would be better if culture supported women asking men out more than men asking out women. The reason for this is that women are more selective. Think about it, whenever there is a group of people deciding what to do, it's more efficient to have the most picky person decide, since their choice is most likely to be accepted by the other members. Otherwise everyone else has to work to find something the picky person will accept, and that's excess work. Well that's exactly what happens in the dating world. Women are more picky, but rather than take in upon themselves to decide who they want to date and act upon it, they more often expect the men to come to them, creating more work overall. Let's use numbers to illustrate. Let's say, hypothetically, that a man will agree to date 20% of women, and women will agree to date 10% of men. In this case, if a woman is looking to date, we would expect a match after she asks out five men she approves of. If instead she makes the men do all the work, we would expect a match after 10 men ask her out. Even a hybrid is more efficient than this. If the woman asks out two men, six men asking her out in addition are then required for there to be an expected match. That's eight attempts, which is less than 10. Clearly, in a world where women are more selective, allocating the work to men just complicates the process. Since women are the ones who have a narrower selection of potential mates, let them decide who they want, since they have a worse chance of being turned down. But what if the reason they are more selective is because they are the ones getting chased rather than the other way around? If women were the ones chasing men, maybe women would become less selective while men became more so. Women feel less valued if they are rejected oh yes, we men feel super accepted when we are rejected. Rejection sucks both ways so why not ask someone out regardless of your sex? As someone whose girlfriend asked him out, strong agree. I was under the impression she had friend zoned me because some things between friends. Turns out, that's not the case xd. But open communication works way better than these whack ass games some people play. I've heard and seen shit like I shot him down because I wanted him to try harder and similar. Like WTF? How is that in any way a reasonable expectation of a human being? We're not telepathic, no generally means fucking no. That's a blatant example but shitty hints aren't much better and sometimes men are oblivious through a combination of not trying to be aggressively forward and not wanting to ruining every second or third friendship with the opposite sex. If a woman approached me and asked me out my first thoughts would be is this a prank? Is she recruiting me for a cult? Am I going to be kidnapped and robbed? Am I about to be scammed? Is she going to try and sell me something? I feel like the dating world would be a better place if people didn't view it as something to be entitled to. I feel like people put too much value on other people's validations instead of learning to be happy with the company of yourself, edit, yet I'm getting a lot of replies that I don't feel like reading so I'll try to break down what I'm trying to say just in case it's not easy to understand. I feel like there's still a lot of pressure to have boyfriends or girlfriends, husbands, and wives, and what not despite divorce rates getting higher. You see teenagers, young adults, and even old people bitching about not getting enough sex and romantic attention, but I feel as though a factor in this feeling is the lack of people being satisfied with the company of themselves. I feel like people have to learn how to entertain themselves before looking forward to spending time with a partner, or else they'll become clingy and heavily reliant on the sexual and social validation of others, making it their world and high. A life of being a slave to what other people think about you is not a very comfortable way to live, so I feel like people should prioritize emotional independence over obtaining a significant other. Life would be better if more humans would learn to exercise their own authority and do exactly as they pleased, rather than cower in social insecurity or vague ideas about what somebody might think. No one can liberate you from culture but yourself. Don't ask culture to change. Don't ask culture for a goddamn thing. It has no authority over you. I agree with you in theory, but realistically, neither should chase the other exclusively. The reason why women get to be selective is because more men are lusting after and pursuing them at any given time. At least when compared to the number of girls that pursue or lust after men. This is something that is changing, albeit slowly, 
as women's sexuality is becoming more socially acceptable to explore and discuss, however, there is an existing social expectation that men pursue women, which I think is completely asinine. It's a strange power dynamic I've taken note of. At the moment, the game is stacked against men. The existence of that cat and mouse dynamic was only supported by the belief that women were something to possess, a goal to strive for. Fortunately, our view of women has changed, but the expectations of romance haven't. There are still residual pieces of that social dynamic dotting Western culture, but rather than removing them we've grown around and embraced them as tradition. I'm no exception to this. I wholly believe that you should meet your partner as equal, but as a man, I always ask her out, pay on the first date, hold doors open, walk them home, yada yada. All the things my southern mother raised me to do. It's just kind of how I function romantically, because it's how I show I care. Guiltily, I even enjoy the chase. If a woman were do all of those things, I would accept and appreciate it, but a lot of men, including myself, like providing for the women we care for. You are absolutely right. Except that the men would date, sleep with, 80%. Things would be a lot easier on everyone if women made the first move, chose who they wanted to ask out, etc., and some do, but it's a slow change from previous norm. Women can still be accused of being too forward, too slutty, too thirsty, too aggressive for making the first move. Haven't really thought about this before, but this makes total sense to me. I mean I'm about to ask this guy I've liked out on a date because we keep beating around the bush about wanting to go out, but neither of us will actually ask the question. Whenever I've been in relationships it's far more efficient for me to just pick where we go, my ex-GFS were incredibly indecisive. But I agree, women should feel free to ask men out. As a man. I agree. I would be so much happier if a girl just expressed interest toward me. R slash unpopular opinion, the place, where you post your popular opinions. I asked my husband out. I think if you like someone ask them regardless of your gender. Women aren't any one thing. Everyone's their own person. I'm the one that asked out my boyfriend. He knew I liked him, because I gave him many very obvious hints, to the point they're not even hints, and he was just still so nervous to say anything to me because neither of us dated before. After I told him I liked him, he said that I was brave and he never could have done that. He was too scared because of how society always expects the guy to make the first moves, and he already had toxic girls hurt him, who he was never even friends with. His self-esteem is really bad, so he thought it would never work if he asked me out. I'm not sure about how picky people can be, but there's a lot of reasons that shouldn't be a social norm. Guys are equally if not more anxious than girls about asking someone out. 